How are you guys doing? Welcome to this edition, week's edition of Glendale Viking News. This is our Teacher Appreciation Week and also the last week for this year's um, news. Next school year will start it back up. It's just because it's become so hard on the students doing it. Um, I might end up only being the only one doing it next year, but I'll probably have friends that will help me with it. But I will have friends that will, are willing to help. And you'll see those two friends in this video. Also, the two friends are Brandon Dick and Carly Kim. I want to thank both of you two, if you are watching this, for helping me. Now, let's get on with our interview with the three teachers. How did you celebrate Teacher Appreciation Week? Oh, yeah, I drew Scooby Doo. Uh, I didn't really celebrate it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I got the, uh, the gift from the school district, and uh, my fiance said, Happy Teacher Appreciation Day, and that was about it. Uh, what's your favorite thing about teaching here at Glendale? Um, I think I have a lot of freedom as to what I'm able to do in my classroom. I like being able to, to do experiments like I have set up in the back of the room there and the students seem to enjoy that as well. So, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of freedom in the content that I'm allowed to teach. Thanks, Mr. Manival. No problem. Um, I'm here with Mrs. Woods and she's a teacher here at Glendale Junior Senior High School and we're going to ask her a couple questions. How would you celebrate Teachers Appreciation Week? I celebrated Teacher Appreciation Week with my awesome mug. Um, a lot of coffee in that. Of situation. course. Oh, always. always. What's your favorite thing about teaching at Glendale? I love the sense of community here. We have a really good group of kids, great group of parents. When when did you start your teaching here at Glendale? Oh, I'm not going to tell you that because then you'll know how old I am. <laughs> All right, thank you. So I'm here with Mr. Mazenko. How did you celebrate Teacher's Appreciation Week? Uh, actually, I didn't. Well, you're not. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about teaching at Glendale? I would have to say the people. I like the people here. Um, even, yes, even you, Clutter, even you. Yeah, I, I do like the people. I like the kids, and if I didn't like the people and the kids, then I would find something else to do. Okay, so now you know what the teachers think and have done. Um, we are going now over to the students part of this. Um, they are going to share what they feel about teaching uh, the school. Alright, we are here with Josiah Rivera about Teachers Appreciation Week. Josiah, who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Mr. Hunter. Why is that? Because he makes specifically learning math fun in All right. different ways. Um, what's your favorite thing about Glendale as a whole? I feel like um, that Glendale as a whole has a lot of opportunities to, you know, make things fun, which they do. And sometimes, you know, it just works out in the end for everybody. Thanks for that. So we are here with Rainy Lucia, and she's going to tell us who are her favorite teachers are. Okay, my favorite teachers are Miss Rolls and Mr. Hunter. Why are they your favorite teachers? Well, Miss Rolls is my favorite teacher because I love chemistry and she has given me the opportunity to explore like more chemistry than like, most schools allow you to. And Mr. Hunter is my favorite teacher because he's just really energetic and he makes calculus like tolerable. So what do you like about Glendale overall? Small class sizes. <laughs> Alright, Cody, who are your favorite teachers here at Glendale? Miss Blair and Mr. Manville. Why is that? Miss Blair is one of the friendly types that you can find here. Mr. Manville is more of a fun type. Alright, now, um, overall, what do you think about school? Like, what's your favorite thing about Glendale? Glendale is a sports because that's something that really shows the face of Glendale is from our sports. Thanks, Cody. Good. So we are here with Grace Williams and Jocelyn yes. Moody. Yeah. Who are your favorite teachers at Glendale? My favorite teacher is Mr. Mazinka. What kind of cream were you putting your coffee? My favorite teacher is Mr. Mazinka. This guy! <laughs> Why are they your favorite teachers? Because Mr. Stacy was. Because he's super weird! Because he's super weird. 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 Because he's
my elementary band teacher, and he was one of the best teachers I had. Mr. Mazenga is my favorite teacher because he cares about the kids' interests, and he's just a fun teacher. So what else do you guys like about Glendo? Mr. Mazenga's here, obviously. <laughs> um, because the kids go out on their way to say hi and acknowledge you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I first off, before we end this, I'd like to thank all the teachers for doing everything they do because it's teacher appreciation. Not just because that, but you guys do also uh, do a lot that most students probably do not realize that you do. Also, I'd like to thank all the parents for sending their kids to school because without Sending them to school, there would be no need for teachers. Also, I'd like to thank everyone that has helped with the Glendale Lighting Vision News. This is the last one for the year. We will start up again next year. Also, I'd like to thank one teacher in particular. He has done a lot for our school. Our school was kind of boring before. Um, it is Mr. Hunter. He has started many things at our school. He started the talent show, which will be on here next year if we do it. I'm not sure. Hopefully we do. Um, it, we also will, uh, he did start the cross country team. Um, he started the Glendale Light and Vision News, and he's brought a lot of other stuff that I could not, and he's brought FCA to the school. He's been a lot of help to many students as well. Uh, his list can go on forever ever and ever. We are sad to see him leave Glendale, but it's, uh, he is moving on to another school. We thank you for working with us here at Glendale. Also, we hope to see that you do many more great things as you go on to other schools. That is about it for now, this week's edition for Glendale Viking Vision News. We hope that you have, uh, on behalf of the Glendale Viking Vision News team, uh, I we would like to wish you all a good endless rest of the school year, and it is growing short in numbers, and a happy summer. See you guys next year on Glendale Viking Vision News.